Hey. Hey, what's up? <laughs> what up, what up, what is so? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what's up? So, I don't know if I told you guys about this, but Christmas pudding snuff. Did I tell you? Because she yes. did the editing for the yes, last video. Yes, you did. I talked about it in that, and you yes. kept it. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so. The snuff lover will get some snuff pudding. <laughs> the, snuff, the snuff lovers will get snuff pudding. Yes. If you subscribe, <laughs> if you're the 10th subscriber, you'll get snuff pudding. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Christmas pudding. It's still, you know, in Norway, just st probably still people that have uh, still have their Christmas trees up, Christmas decorations. What? But it's the 4th of February tomorrow. It's still possible. Okay. Maybe some la lazy, you know, grandiosa enthusiasts, you know. More lazy than us? Yeah, more <laughs> lazy than us. Hey, if I still lived, if I was to li live like a single in Norway, my Christmas decoration would still be here. <laughs> <laughs> and now I just said to her before she took, uh, she took out the camera that like this temperature now, it's like a late July summer, Norwegian summer. Mm. climate like a great day like an awesome Norwegian summer day and it's first of February here in Israel yeah. what is this like 24 degrees 26 yeah it's yeah. maybe 27 even because yeah. it's one because it's one well, yeah because it's like noon so noon is the highest temperature so it's already 27 yeah no it's really nice and warm and it's really cozy a lot of people came out, so the park is all full. Yeah. And we have the view of the beach. So you can see that it's winter by the waves. That, you know, the ocean is very... It's a bit in, rougher. ...in winter mode. Yeah. No, and you can see that the water comes way into the beach. Oh, yeah, that's also when the yeah. comes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the sand is usually... Yeah. ...more visible during the summer, yeah. Mm-hmm. So wow. you can see by the ocean that this is actual winter, but it's very, very summery. Like I guess in early April we can start going to the beach because the ocean will retrieve again. Yeah. <laughs> this is something, you know, this is amazing. For me, this is still like a vacation. This is, this is beautiful. This is something that Sigal has uh, raised up with, that she was brought up with. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, every year, hanging around here by the beach mm -hmm. and beautiful Netanya. Yeah. It's really, really nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna smoke a uh, Nagila now. Many of my viewers might not have seen it before. Yeah. Uh, it's like uh, what you see, the cater caterpillar on the mushroom uh, smoking <laughs> in uh, Alice in Wonderland. In Alice in Wonderland. It's that thing. I don't know where else to like, you know, for people. Well, you can just it. show them once the Nagila is ready. Yeah, I'll show it when it's when it's done, when it's yeah. built, and you can show me smoking it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's you know with apple tobacco, like flavored smoke. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a long time Middle Eastern tradition. Yeah. So that's what we're gonna do, and we're gonna do some photography. I brought my trusty uh, Canon DSLR. Mm -hmm. uh, what is it? I forgot. D60? Six hundred? <laughs> Been, it's been a long time since I played with it, so I started forgetting it a little bit. It's, um, well, some people keep, call it the EOS KISS X5, that's the American name, but in Europe you say, like, uh, I, 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 I'm guessing it's the D60. Yeah, or 60D. <laughs> so we're gonna take pictures. Also, I brought a. Um, This is, you know, on here, this is my kit lens, uh, 50, 18 to 55. Also, I brought another, you know, one, this is probably my most expensive lens. My, um, uh, what is it? <laughs> uh, 10 to 24. No, 10 to 20. Yeah, 10 to 20 millimeter lens. Super wide. You just get the whole scenery. It's really good for scenery. It's for, um, you know, apartment photography when you want to like show as much room and as much as of the area as possible. It's nice for this kind of uh, day. I, would think. I have a zoom lens at home, which is uh, 75 to 300, if I'm not mistaken, uh, or 200. 
and that's like really you know really zoom you, you can zoom in on a tiny space and get kind of like a macro shot or a bird in the sky or a flower that's 20 meters away you know it's for those kind of shots uh, it's really good for portrait photography like 20 meters away you know or sneaking on people unbeknownst and taking pictures of people that you know they, they <laughs> no, have no idea they've been taking photos of it's really good for that uh, so yeah, I'm a kind of a, a photo nerd, you know, when you get me started on this, I started rambling, I love that stuff. But that's what we're going to do today, and uh, we're going to enjoy ourselves. It's a Saturday, and when we get home, we're going to play Lego, as usual. We're playing Lego Batman lately, we love that game. Uh, we love all the Lego games. Uh, at least Seagal is, she's following along at least, you know, like a good wife. And, uh, he's such a good fan. He's such a good fan. Good fan. Good fan. Good fan. Happy. That's what he's doing this weekend. Being a good fan. Happy. Good fan. Happy. Yeah, I'm being an annoying uh, turd. That's what basically what you're saying. <gasps> no. <laughs> yes, you are. Who's the good fan here? You're the good fan. The one saying good fan is the good fan. Ah, going all Gandhi on me. <laughs> yes. Hey baby, this head is full to the brim <laughs> of spiritual knowledge. I'm a Buddhist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I like Buddhist quotes on Facebook. <laughs> okay, let's get started with my video. Okay. You want to talk about yourself, some thoughts you have, or some, some insights? Uh, not at the moment. So, okay, let's just close it for now and we'll update you when the nebula is ready. Another moon of the park today. <laughs> the guy with his nergila. Was the baby pointing at me? Also? Yeah, I was like, oh, what is this, mommy? <laughs> what was what did mom say? No, I said, like, let's go, let's go. It's not for you. <laughs> really? No. Would you be worried to say, like, oh, it's a nergila, you smoke? We'll get to that bridge when we cross it. <laughs> Something like that. We'll cross the bridge when we get to it. Yeah. Maybe we we'll stop smoking by then. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. Why can't you see that it's turning cooked? Like I don't know. No, but not only on one side. It's still, uh, still cracking. Yeah, it's relatively ready now. And now, the thing you have to do now is you have to keep smoking it, smoking it. It's really tough in the beginning because you want to heat up the, the tobacco. And you 
keep smoking it until this is white. So you got pure white thick smoke in here. From then on, every puff for about an hour or something will be nice, pleasant smoke. That's how you gotta go. That's it. That's how you smoke an Aguila. <laughs> <laughs>